You want to know how to do this? Ahora, che, ¿por qué necesitamos una interfaz de usuario revolucionaria? Quiero decir, esto es para smartphones, ¿verdad? Uno de estos 20 concursantes va a ser eliminado y perderá medio millón de dólares. Whether you're a content creator looking to expand your reach by uploading videos in multiple languages, a marketer trying to localize promotional content, or an educator aiming to sell your courses, this video is for you. In this video, I'll explore the most popular video translation tools. I'll test them and share my honest opinions about their pros and cons. I also invite you to share your perspective in the comments. As you are in, I want to give some extra info. What is a good translated video? To keep it as authentic as the original one, a good translated video should be highly accurate. Keep the original voice, match the length and sync, the lip movement. So with that in mind, let's get started. The rounds we have include user experience, interface and ease of use, input, supported file types, video size and video duration, language, variety of languages and dialects, speed, processing times, accuracy, translation accuracy and speaker detection accuracy, voice clone, voice generation options and quality on maintaining the rich emotion and tone, lip syncing, quality of sync, lip and fascia movement with audio. First, let's explore the interface. It's a delicate balance for designers to keep the simplicity while offering comprehensive functions. We can take a look at Hagen. They use a very simple interface. You could upload the video or paste the URL. Select the language and speaker. They offer a lot more complex options, like include captions, translate audio only, and if we click translate, it will start processing and give the output. One downside is that it doesn't allow for previewing or editing. This approach may not be ideal for users with high translation demands, such as marketers and business owners. Now let's contrast that with Vozo AI. Vozo has a lot of tools here, but let's focus on translate and dub. You could see the similar upload interface, upload or paste the URL, after choosing the speaker, language, it also provides context input, which allows more customized instruction. Once the translation is complete, Vozo AI directs you to a page where you can see the original text, the translated text, a timeline of the voiceovers, and all the relevant details in an editable interface, similar to a video editing tool. This means you can easily make changes to any part of the video. Let's see a cool. They also try to simplify the entrance. It's similar to Vozo and we can select more complex options like lip sync at this step 11. Let's click start. A cool also provides a editable interface, but the editing interface only display translated script. To summarize, all these three tools offer a simple interface. Hagen delivers output directly, while Vozo and Akul offer flexibility and editing features. From my perspective, the addition interface of Vozo is more user-friendly, so let's move on to input. First, let's see Hagen. It supports videos up to 5 gigabytes in three formats, MP4, Move, and WebM. The supported duration varies with the subscription you made from 3 minutes to 30 minutes but it hasn't clarified the maximum video duration. Then, let's move on to Vozo. Vozo supports videos up to one hour in five formats, MP4, Move, WebM, AVI, and WMV, but with a 2.5 gigabyte size limit. Akul is similar to Hagen, supports videos up to 5G in three formats, MP4, MOV, and WEBM. The duration also varies with the subscription, so in this aspect, Hagen and Akul are better in terms of file size, while Vozo AI takes the lead in video duration and variety. To test these tools, I've chosen a video of Lionel Messi being interviewed in Spanish. It's about two minutes. Let's watch a few seconds of it. ¿Cuánto tiempo esperamos esta imagen? Un país entero festejando esto. Una locura, la verdad que sí que que se hizo desear, pero pero lo más lindo que hay. Eh, mira lo que 
Es hermosa, es hermosa. Dale un beso para la gente de Argentina que la está viendo. Sí, la verdad, y... ¿Sabe cuánto le es, es impresionante, la verdad que... I'll upload this video to each tool and analyze the results one by one. So next we have speed, which is how long it takes to render the translation. Hagen, 6 minutes. Akul, 13 minutes. Vozo, AI, 3.5 minutes. Now let's look at the realism of this video in each tool. How long have we waited for this image? An entire country celebrating this. It's crazy, really, it is. It took a while to get here, but look at how beautiful it is. Look at how it is, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. A kiss for the people of Argentina who are watching it. It's absolutely amazing, I really wanted it so much. I was just saying there, I once told him that God was going to gift it to me, I was sure, and I had a feeling that that it was this that was happening. We suffered a lot, but we made it. Hagen did a great job cloning the voices in the video. Messi's voice sounds like his own, which is impressive. If we look close at lip movement, it's also realistic and well synchronized. But in some parts, the translated words are repetitive, and some filler words are noticeably missing making the video not as natural as the original one. How long have we waited for this image? The whole country is celebrating this one. It's crazy. Honestly, yes, it was long awaited, but it's the most beautiful thing there is. So look at it, it's gorgeous. A kiss for the people of Argentina who are watching. It's impressive, honestly, I wanted it so much. Yeah, I just told, I once said that God was going to give it to me. I was sure and I had a feeling that this was the one that was happening. We went through a lot of suffering, but we finally got it and here it is. Now it's time to enjoy. We see it now. Bozo also did a great job in cloning voices. Furthermore, it preserved the background noise, like the sound of the stadium, better, making the video feel more natural. It provided a complete translation without skipping any parts. However, since the translated text length differs from the original, some sections appeared out of sync. Fortunately, you can edit these parts, making it the most acceptable option overall. How long have we been waiting for this image? An entire country celebrating this. It's crazy. The truth is that it was highly anticipated, but it's the most beautiful thing there is. It's not what... She is beautiful. Truly beautiful. Here's a kiss for Argentina's watching people. Do you know how much I'm going to kiss her? It's impressive, the truth is. Thank you very much. I was just telling her about it there. Some time ago I told her that God was going to give it to me, I was sure. And I sensed that it was happening now. We suffered a lot, but we made it. And here it is, time to enjoy. We'll see, it's time to to already be in Argentina to live the madness that that is going to be. Akul, however, struggled with lip sync. In some parts, the lip movements are distorted, especially when the face is obscured. In conclusion, here are the pros and cons of each tool. In the end, if I had to choose one of these three tools, my choice would be Voso AI because of its editing capabilities, the ability to provide video transcripts and translations, and its voice and lip sync accuracy. Let me know in the comments which one you would choose. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.